kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey! Jody cooking, delicious cooking. Hi guys, it's Jody. Wagwan Wagwan. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I've got another amazing, delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna show you and how I make my Jamaican fried chicken step by step. Trust me, this recipe right here are gonna be super super delicious. You and your family are gonna enjoy it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also share it to someone that you know will enjoy it. Now keep it to yourself and hit your notification button for whenever I upload a video. You will be the first to see it, okay? Stay tuned. So guys, just before I show you all my ingredients, I just want to read you all a Bible verse and I pray that you all is blessed by it. I know that many of you guys know this verse. You grow up with it. it says from John 3, 16. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Amen. So guys, God sent his only Son, Jesus Christ, into this world to die on a cross for our sin. God love you so, 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 so much. I pray that you all is blessed by this word. I love you, but remember that God loves you and that he have a good plan and a purpose for your life. Stay blessed and thank you all so much for the hearing of the word of the Lord. So guys, in my bowl right here, I've got at least three and a half pound of chicken and I'm using leg and thigh. You can use any part of the chicken, okay? I also have one onion that I cut and this is how I cut it in a circle. I also have some fresh thyme, at least two tablespoons of my fresh thyme, some pimento seed, otherwise as allspice, at least one teaspoon, scotch bonnet pepper, scallion, at least over one stalk of my scallion, and garlic. This is at least five to six cloves of my garlic. I'm gonna add some cornstarch to my flour, and this is just gonna give it the chicken a nice and crispy yeah it's gonna make it to be nice and crispy so this is at least over two tablespoons and plain flour this is at least six cups of my plain flour so these are all of my seasoning that i'll be using so here i have one tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning two teaspoon of my paprika and at least one teaspoon of my garlic powder, one tablespoon of my chicken seasoning, and one teaspoon of my onion and salt powder seasoning. Okay? Yes. You can use any season of your liking. So guys, now I'm going to season my chicken. It's already washed and clean in some lemon juice. So first, I'm just going to add just a little bit of my oil. So when I put the flour, the flour will stick on the chicken okay so I'm gonna firstly add my seasoning just gonna mix it in I'm gonna leave a little bit of my seasoning for my flour just a little bit I'm gonna use most of it on the chicken like this and then I'm gonna add my onions just wanna add it like so so guys, you're going to do it exactly the way how you going to make your stew chicken. Yes, with all the fresh herbs. So with my thyme, I'm just going to cut it up just a little bit. My scotch bonnet pepper. Everything is already washed. I'm going to cut my scotch bonnet pepper. I don't want to cut too much, but a good amount. Yeah, that's it. It's over one tablespoon. So with my garlic, what I did... I just squeeze my garlic so all that juice will come right out on the chicken. I'm just gonna add it like so. Yeah, I'm also gonna add my pimento seed and my scallion. So I'm gonna do my scallion, I'm gonna squeeze it so all that juice come right out on the chicken. So the chicken to be nice and flavorful. 
yeah like so so i'm just gonna take my hand and just massage all that seasoning all those herbs all over on my chicken make sure that it is all coated guys it smells real good you can smell the scotch bonnet pepper the fresh thyme the scallion trust me this right here are gonna be so flavorful if you want you can leave it to marinate overnight it all depends if you wanted to cook it quick you just you know cook it as it is as long as you season it up properly but I'm gonna allow mine to marinate for at least 20 minutes yes so my chicken is nice and seasoning so as I said I'm gonna leave it to marinate for at least 15 minutes okay perfect So I'm going to add my flour to a wider glass container. Then I'm going to add my cornstarch and mix it in. So everything will all combine. I'm also going to add all my remaining seasoning. I'm just gonna add a half teaspoon of my salt. Yeah. Yeah, that's done. So my chicken is all finished, marinate. So now I'm just gonna add it to my flour mixture. So let's put it on the side right there. So normally, if you're frying fried chicken, you normally would add the milk or the egg but with this one this is a jamaican style fried chicken so i'm only using the fresh seasoning i'm gonna add my chicken to my flour and no guys i'm not using no milk just the flour make sure that you squeeze the flour onto the chicken you see that perfectly coated without the milk and the egg put that one there make sure guys you try and shake off any excess onion or garlic or pepper just shake it off so as soon as you finish just gonna put them to a plate try and eat up your oil So as you can see guys, my chicken is perfectly coated, so now I'm going to fry them. Yeah. So guys, now I'm going to fry my chicken. As you can see, my pot is on my stove and I add some oil because I'm going to deep fry it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a scotch bonnet pepper just to see how hot my oil is. Yeah. And the scotch bonnet pepper is not going to make your chicken to be spicy, okay? But you don't have to add a scotch bonnet pepper in your aisle. It is totally optional. But normally sometimes I do it when I'm frying chicken. So just take your time and just add the chicken in the pot. I'm going to fry it for at least 10 minutes. I just add one more and that's it so guys my chicken been frying for at least over five minutes this is what it look like nice and crispy I'm gonna allow it to fry for another five minutes
So guys, my chicken is finished. Whenever you see it floating at the top, you know that it is ready. Nice and pretty. I'm going to put it to my grill. So now that I fried all my chicken, I'm going to make some gravy also to go with it. So to my pot, I'm going to add the same oil that I use to fry my chicken. And I'm going to add at least over one tablespoon of that oil. So this is all my fresh herbs that I use to marinate my chicken. The garlic, the scallion, the scotch bonnet pepper, onion. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to my pot. Yeah, like so. This is going to use to make a nice gravy, nice and flavorful with the fried chicken. So guys, I'm also going to use a few carrot off that I cut. Just going to allow it to saute for at least 30 seconds. So just after 30 seconds. So to the same bowl that I use for my chicken, I'm going to add at least one and a half cup of my water. Just want to mix it in. I'm going to take my time and add it to my pot. I'm going to add some more water. So I add over two and a half cups of water in total. Then I'm going to add a one teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning and half teaspoon of my black pepper some of my ketchup at least four tablespoon of my ketchup like so I'm gonna mix it in and just a drop of my browning try not to add too much or dark soya just a drop. That's it. Guys, this is totally optional, but for me personally, I like to add a little bit of sugar or honey to my gravy just to balance out the taste. It is totally optional. What it does, it balances out the taste from the ketchup. Okay? So I'm going to add at least two teaspoons. Let's give it a stir. Trust me, it's going to make your gravy be such a different. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn up my stove and leave it to simmer down for at least 10 minutes. Then I cover it up. So my gravy is all finished. So guys, my gravy is nice and rich. As you can see it is ticking up and you know when it's cool it's gonna be even more thicker so I'm just gonna turn off my stove so guys I'm telling you my fried chicken came out perfect it is super nice and so crispy and flavorful I cannot wait for you all to try this recipe please don't forget if you try it comment below and tell me what it's like also share this video and give it a thumbs up i serve it with some of my jamaican rice and peas yes and some planting on the side oh my gosh super super yummy so guys i thank you all so much for watching 
Until next time, bye and do enjoy. for more of these delicious recipes hit the thumbs up and share across all your social media platforms for more of these amazing delicious recipes from jody